Hey guys, it's Bella. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, today we are going to be doing a cooking with Bella. Another one. Finally, I really want to start doing these way more often. Today I'm making a short rib ragu because it's delicious. It's like a rainy stormy day today so it's a perfect day for ragu and I posted this on my Instagram stories and I got like a crazy amount of DMs about it so I was like cooking with Bella time. I post a bunch of like food that I cook on my Instagram story so if you guys ever see something on there that you want me to cook just DM me, let me know, and let's get into it. Remy the Ratatouille. Why is that for you? Because I don't just want to go. Okay, so the background of this video was way too loud, so I had to do a voiceover, which honestly feels like I'm trying way too hard to be professional, but I'm just having fun cooking yummy food that I want to share with you. I find cooking so fun and therapeutic and I just love experimenting with different recipes. Anyway, for this recipe, I started off with all of the prep work. So I chopped up three stalks of celery, peeled and chopped one carrot. And normally I just do one brown onion, but my local fruit and veg shop had like unusually small onions. So I'm using two today. I don't know if I'm like really slow at finally chopping my veggies or what the deal is, but this is like the most time consuming part of the whole recipe and golly gosh, it's a bit of an arm workout. I mean, actually, if you're making your own pasta, which I did, maybe that takes the longest. Maybe I'm just slow at that too, but that can take me a minute as well. <laughs> Staircase, begging you, please don't go. Then I say. I also love me some garlic, so I crushed up about six cloves for this recipe, but the amount of garlic you put in should come from the heart. Usually, if I'm using a recipe and it says two cloves, I'm using five. <laughs> oh wow, this seems really hot. It's like, look at this, what's happening? Good turn down. Yeah, you can turn down. Yeah, turn down. Do you know what heat I'm meant to do? Oh no, oh no, I've turned it. As you can see, I bought a portable cooktop for this video so that you could see what I was doing better, but I had not a single clue of how to use it and the instructions weren't helping and honestly, <laughs> I still don't know how to use it. <laughs> Anyway, um, for this recipe, I used one kilo of beef short ribs, which I sear in some oil that has a high smoke point. So I used vegetable oil here. I sear them on all sides until they're all golden brown, which usually takes about two to three minutes on each side. But unfortunately, it did not take me two to three minutes each side. I was fumbling around with the cooktop the whole time and one of the ribs was a bit deformed. So it was just a whole process. <laughs> I swear everything decided to just be difficult because I was filming. Um, anyway, once they were cooked, I took them out, I put them on a rack, but you can just put them on a plate or a chopping board so that you can put the juices from the short ribs back into the pot later. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, I think I was just trying to be fancy for the video. Um, Anyway, after I removed them, I put all of the veggies back in. I cook them over a medium heat for five to eight minutes, just until they're nice and soft. And then I put the garlic in and I cook that into the veggies for another two minutes. After that, I add about two to three tablespoons of tomato paste and I cook that off still over medium heat into the veggies for another three to five minutes, just until it turns from that brighter red color into a deeper brown to let its full flavor develop. Then I go ahead and add the red wine. I used a cup and a half here. Sometimes I use two cups depending on how I'm feeling and any cheap red wine will do. I just used a $5 bottle of Merlot here and I just simmer that over a medium heat to reduce it. You just wanna cook it for around five to eight minutes or until it's reduced by about half. 
Once that's reduced, I'm adding the rest of my ingredients for the ragu base. So I'm adding four cups of warm beef stock. You want to add enough so that your ribs are barely covered. If when you put your ribs back in, they're not covered, just add some more stock. I add a 750 gram bottle of posada, four bay leaves, and a bunch of fresh thyme. Some people tie their herbs up so they're easier to fish out at the end, but I'm too lazy for that. So in they go, stir it up, and then you want to add your short ribs and the juices back into the pot with the bone of the ribs facing up. And you probably want to do this, but <laughs> than I did here. Oh, shit. I dropped it. Once the short ribs are bone side up in the pot, just add some more stock if you need it and bring the whole thing to a simmer and then I put it into a 180 degree Celsius or 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for three and a half hours. While that ragu cooks away in the oven, I get started on my pasta because I'm extra and wanted to make fresh pasta. <laughs> no, truly, I love making fresh pasta. It is so therapeutic to me and it tastes amazing, which is a bonus. So I decided to make some super thick pappardelle because I think it goes really well with the ragu sauce. I used three cups of O and O flour and I make that into a little mound and then using a bowl or whatever you have around just make a little well in the center making sure that the edges are high enough that the eggs won't spill over but honestly it's not the end of the world if they do I've done it more times than I can count if it happens just use your hands to mix it all together and bring it into a dough and start kneading. But if not, you just want to whisk those eggs together in the middle and slowly start flicking in some flour from the sides little by little until it becomes too thick to continue whisking. That's when you want to get your hands dirty, start bringing it all together in a dough and you can just add a little bit of water if you're finding it's too dry. I added about a tablespoon to mine and then you want to continue kneading that for about 10 minutes and by the end when you press your finger into it, it should bounce back pretty easily. Then I just shape it into a sort of cute little ball and cover it with plastic wrap. Then I just let it sit for about an hour to an hour and a half to let the gluten develop and relax before I start turning it into pasta. After it's been sitting for an hour, I cut it into eight little pieces so that it's more manageable. I flour each piece and I cover them in plastic wrap again so that it doesn't dry out and I get to work. I roll it out until it's just thin enough to get through the thickest setting on my pasta maker. Don't mind my fingers, they just have a mind of their own. Once I can get it through the thickest setting, I start running it through and I run it through about two to three times on each setting and I do this until the seventh setting. By then, it should be pretty thin. You should be able to see your hand through the sheet of pasta. I flour it up and I sort of do a roll fold sort of thing and just cut it to the thickness that I want. Then I flour the pasta again so it doesn't dry out while I make the rest of the dough into pasta. After three and a half hours, you want to pull your ragu out of the oven and by this point, your entire house should be smelling just divine. Um, you want to pull all of the beef short ribs out and put them on a cutting board. They should be really tender and practically falling apart. Normally, they haven't fallen apart quite as much as mine here were, but mine were a little deformed, so don't mind that. <laughs> Once you're on the chopping board, you just want to remove the bones, which should just slide right off the meat. Super easily and then with two forks or whatever you want to use you just want to pull the meat apart which again should be really easy you want to remove your bay leaves and the sprigs of thyme and add that meat back into the pot mix it all up and then cook it on a low to medium heat just to thicken it up it doesn't really need long I just let it reduce and thicken while I brought my pot of water to a boil and cooked my pasta and because it's fresh pasta it literally only takes 30 seconds in the pot to cook Take it off and then mix it up into that ragu sauce and there you have it baby a delicious short rib ragu truly it is so yummy
let's get the other bowl. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so bad at plating things. I'm sure it would look better if I did, but I promise it's so delicious. Wow, I could just eat this every single day for the rest of my life. Okay, the PJs are on, but I forgot to do a little on-camera taste test. <laughs> so good. Mm -mm. Okay, so this is the ragu. I'm not very good at plating things, but it's delicious. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more cooking videos, make sure to let me know in the comments down below and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye guys.